Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial where we are going to learn how to mod Super Mario Maker 2, like apply mods to it, uh, which is like the same way to apply mods to also different games, to every single game really. So yeah, but this is like just using Mario Maker as an example really. But yeah, there are two ways to do this. You have the Switch version, and you can apply mods to your mod Switch, or Ryujinx, which is the emulator. First, we're going to you go with mod Switch way, where first you also need to have yeah a mod Switch, uh, where you can follow, for example, this guide, and um, which is just to mod your Switch if you can. And after all this stuff is done, because this tutorial is just a guide to actually mm, apply mods to the games, first. We're going to go to the atmosphere folder, which is going to be created after all the process of running your switch. And yeah, this is a switch sticker. So yeah, atmosphere, content. And we have plenty of title SDs here. And yeah, title ID is just like the ID of your game. Every single game has its own title ID. And if you want to know which title ID belongs to, for example, Mario DSA, you can just like get into this page. I'm gonna leave all stuff in the description. If you wanna know, you can just see this one for example. Or if there is no, if your game is not here, for example, it's just the Mario Maker case, you can just search on Google Super Mario Maker 2 title ID and then you have, for example, this one or every single page like in here again, but this is for the PDS. But yeah, you can, Teamful has a really good place for this. So yeah, you can just go in there. Now that we've got the ID, we can just make the folder with the ID. So we open it, and here we are going to place the mod. The mods are in Game Manor, for example. This is the website where I upload all of them. So yeah, you can just look for one of these. So for example, let's just download Sky Castle, right? So we can just go here, download, and it's now here. And now it's done, we can just drag the ROMs folder in here, in this title ID folder. So yeah, yeah, you have all this. Maybe there are some mods that don't include the ROMs folder, so you can just make it yourself and get the same structure. You always need to respect the structure, if not, then Switch is not going to like recognize the mod. So after that, we should be good to go. But there is an easy way to install mods, and it's way better in my opinion, because you know you can just get like multiple bots at the same time and just enable or disable them, which is way better in my opinion. So for that, we can install just a simple application for the Homebrew channel and your mod switch, and it's called Simple Mod Manager. This application just lets you like enable or disable multiple mods, and the way to install it, you ha actually have the, have the whole guide here, but uh, it's just really easy, like, you can just download the, the file, which is this one, the unro, and you can just place it in the switch folder, and it should be here, there we go, and now we need to make a folder in the root called mods. Now type your game name, for some I'll make it too, and this is all of my, the mods I have installed in my SD card, so just you can just call the folder whenever you want, for example, Sky Castle in this case, and then you need to follow the structure. Contents. Again, you have the whole stuff here. Contents. The title ID, and then the mod, like the ROMs and all stuff again. So yeah, it's just the same process all over again. So for example, yeah, you just have all of this. And then in the switch, you can just enable or disable the mods. We want to see that right now. Now, in our switch, we go to the album, in this case in Homebrew Channel, and open the new application, Simple Mod Manager, here, which is Mario Maker 2, and in here we can just enable or disable mods. So for example, I'm just going to enable, I don't know, the Sky Castle, so yes, you can see every single file that's inside your mod, which is also kind of cool, and also the file size. Alright, and now it's done, we press the home button and open the game. Alright, now that we're in the game, we can go to Sky, and there we go, the mod is enabled correctly, as we can see with the background, the tile set, and the music. Now for the Rio Jinx guide, we're going to open the emulator, get into our game. If your game is not here, you can just go to Options, Settings, and add your game directory in here. 
Now that it's done, we right click the game and open mods directory. In here, again, we have plenty of mods. Really. I have downloaded myself, or just mine. So, again, you can see the title is CD here. So, we just make a new folder with, I don't know, the name, whatever you want. Chrome's, and again, the same. So, yeah, it's just the same thing all over again. And now I'm rejinx again after making the folder. Right click, manage mods, and in here, it should appear all the mods you have made or just downloaded. So, you can either enable or disable them. And then just save and play it. And yeah, this is how totally mods work. So yeah, if you have any type of question or something, you can just comment it down here. And I'm gonna try to help you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.